Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get into mining Bible Pay coins. Um, so Bible Pay is a uh, cryptocurrency, as some call them, altcoins from from Bitcoin. And uh, right now with the price of Bitcoin going up so high, everybody wants to know how to get into this. And um, this is one I do. Um, it if you read through a lot of the stuff they have on their website and, and everything, it part of the fees and stuff go to help. Uh, support orphans and stuff like that but the other nice thing I like about this coin is it's fairly new but it has a lot of people backing it and the price is slowly going up so it and it's really easy to mine still and it's an easy setup so let me get started here by showing you what we need to do so first of all if you go to the biblepay.org website um, you can download the wallet that you need here and um, of course I go with the 64 bit since that's the computer I have um, so once you download that you'll run the exe like a normal program um, and then it, it'll open up to something like this now I have it running right now so let me close it down but So if you go ahead here and open up the Bible Pay wallet, um, which also acts as the miner, you can see here that this is what it looks like. And um, there's also some directions on the uh, how to get started page. Um, it took me a little while to figure it out, but it, it wasn't too hard then. Um, so what you do is, uh, once you're in here, you can come in here and open the wallet configuration file and now this is where you need to fill in some information right now there's only one um, pool that you can mine from so this would be the information you put in here the uh, this number here is when it starts up this is how many threads it will start using um, the higher you put that the more coins you will get but if you get it too high the computer won't be able to handle it um, I have a fairly decent computer and I can only run it right now at about five or six at the most um, but I'll show you something a little different there you, you can just let that set as one um, and this is the pull information you put in here now the worker ID you have to create this on the pool so let me go ahead and show you how to get that so if we open up our web browser here again and you go to pull.biblepay.org um, create an account on there and then when you log in you'll come to probably like this page here um, so this here gives you stats about the poll and right now if you look at it um, let me see here right now there's 1,600 and 11 computers mining on here right now and um, yeah so there's a lot of people on here where they're trying to get another pool going but they're just taking a little bit time to make sure they got it all right but anyways so to create your worker you come in here and you come down here to the workers and then you click add now you can give your worker a name um, I suggest giving it something um, you know sort of not common but um, I use uh, I use a uh, my gaming username a lot for my gaming channel and stuff uh, with some numbers behind it and everything and then you can make a note here of what it actually is and then once you actually create that it'll show up here in the list and uh, you know see here I have a couple different ones here and now you're gonna take that name and you're gonna copy it now you're going to go back to this config file and you'll put that ID right there and that should be everything you need so go ahead and you would save that and I didn't make any changes there but then it will require you to close your wallet and restart it now to start mining what I usually do and this is you get the hang of this after a while 
if you go into the debug console here um, to see if you're connected to the pole or not you can say get mining get mining info and if it says pool mining true then you know you're connected to the pool um, then you can also right here is the how many threads you're using so we had set that in the config file as only being one and uh, here's just some other information like the block size how many blocks there are um, you don't have to worry about a lot of this stuff when you're first starting out um, and this is also the other one you want to make sure this is true meaning you're actually mining so now that you're started you're only mining on one so how do we fix that well the easiest way is to type in a uh, code here and it says set generate then you put space true and then you'll put how much you want to mine and with the new wallet I if you have a slower computer I wouldn't recommend going over four or five I have a little bit bigger of a computer so I'll go with five and you can play around with this number see which one works better for you and then hit enter so now if we get go back to that get mining info now you can see I'm mining at five and the higher this hash rate is here the faster you will get coins um, and as you can see here my hash rate is 2100 or no wait sorry yeah 21 21,000 yeah anyways there it is now you can see the overall network caching is like really high so there's a lot of people mining right now all right so now that started mining you can now close this uh, window here and once you're done with that you can just let it run so you can just minimize it down here and it'll run um, I have it set up that it automatically starts with my computer um, but you can always just start it up manually now the other thing you'll want to do is you'll want to set up get a um, get a code here a uh, or, or a uh, wallet ID so you can transfer money to yourself or you know Bible pay um, so what I did here was you can uh, do this you can request another yeah so you can request another one here and uh, you want to copy this address here whatever that address is you want to copy that mm -hmm. then you want to go back into your pool here and uh, let me see here under account and then withdraw you want to put that address in here and what this will do is every couple days you'll want to come in here and remove the available balance so let's go ahead and do that now so I'm going to come in here and do five six two point nine five zero and I never do exactly the number at the end I do like one less because sometimes it's a little weird on how it rounds up um, so I always do a little bit less and now we'll do send it says successfully transmitted we see here we have an incoming transaction we go back to overview here um, we have that amount roughly coming in there and um, it'll show up here as pending and uh, so then this will be your total now you may say well that's a lot of coins there yeah um, but if we go back to the about page here um, actually the home page here it's Bitcoin or the Bible pay coin is only point zero zero three nine of a dollar right now um, but that's still a fairly large sum of uh, money I think it's like what I have right now is close to 350 or something like that three hundred fifty dollars in, in Bible pay the other thing you will have to do then eventually once you build up a large amount is create or you have to have an exchange account to sell on, on the market um, and right now Bible pay is on this website here 
c-cex.com you'll want to create an account here and uh, you know you'll want to log in so let me go ahead here and log in quick all right so we can see here on on the exchange um, it's a little confusing at first but once you play around with it a little bit you can see so this is all recent transactions here lately so there's been a bunch of drop a bunch of orders and stuff placed here going up and down a little bit so it's been fluctuating a little bit um, you can also get Bitcoin price on here right now it's 15,000 um, now this here will tell you what the price uh, how much Bitcoin you will get for um, each Bible pay coin and uh, down here is where you you can buy Bible pay for a certain amount of Bitcoin or you can sell Bible pay and then get Bitcoin um, same thing here if you switch back to the US dollars you can spend US dollars to get Bible pay or you can sell Bible pay to get US dollars um, they do take a 0.2 percent fee and I know in Bitcoin you have to have um, you have to have a certain amount before you can withdraw um, they won't let you withdraw so much so like I think you have to have so right now I have in this wallet I have point uh, zero 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 one nine and so on but I can't withdraw this until I get point zero two of a Bitcoin uh, to withdraw it and put it back into my other wallet um, so yeah that's you got to make sure you have a lot of uh, Bible pay before you sell for Bitcoin especially with Bitcoin being so high right now so that's a quick overview um, if you want more information I suggest you go to the website here and uh, follow some of the links and stuff they are working on getting a Facebook page up and going some Twitter pages they have a reddit page that has a whole pile of information on um, they have a really nice roadmap here of what they want to do with it um, these are some of the things that they wanted to get done you can see here they got a lot of things done here um, so if you're able to volunteer and help out in doing some of this uh, contact the uh, contact the guy who started this and he can get you hooked up on how to start helping everybody out here so yeah that's a basic overview of how to get started in Bible pay I hope that helps you out